Thank you, Shane, and we're ready for 133. I, I call it two conference champions, Nathan Tomasello, last year's 125er, going up against last year's 133-pound Big Ten champion, Corey Clark. It's a Buckeye versus Hawkeye matchup. Here's how they got there. Tomasello, number one, rolling, and then Clark beating McKee, who upset Montoya from Nebraska, the number two seed. And so, Thomas Ellen Clark, they've never met before, Jim. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting style matchup here between these two guys. And, and you know, you can see the size and range. Corey Clark, an NCAA runner-up the past two seasons at this weight class. And so he's got the he's got the skill, he's got the size. But Thomas Ello, since he moved up to 133, just a bigger version of himself proportionally at, at 125 as the national champion two years ago. Corey Clark, the senior out of Pleasant Hill, Iowa, Southeast Polk High School. And Nathan Tomasello, Redshirt Jr. out of Parma, Ohio. Cuyahoga Valley Christian Academy where he was a four-timer. Two four-timers going at it, four-time uh, state champions, and now two conference champions already in their careers. And what Tomasello will not experience, and I don't think he's experienced a lot of this stuff before, but Corey Clark likes to work a lot off the two-on-one. He'll control the elbow, and even though that Corey Clark likes to you know, comfortably lead that left leg of his, and Tomasello likes to attack that leg, that's his favorite leg, you see these this action work. Clark is always tying up the wrist, tying up the hands, making the guy work, and he doesn't ever gets the tie he wants, so Tomasello takes a shot to the other side. Fought off pretty well, but you see Clark coming back to that two-on-one. That's what he likes to go to. He's great at putting pressure on the man and making him really work and keep his balance, and getting his own offense off in that position. Nathan Tomasello is aiming to become... There he gets to it. No, there he got to it. He got the ankle. Yeah, he got no to the control, ankle. And, and, and Nate Tomasello is, is one of the few wrestlers that never gets his... Seems to never get his ankles tied up, right? Notice how he popped up right away. Put pressure into him. And be tough to finish this here with Clark. Here you see Clark's range. He's got the left elbow tied up of, of uh, Tomasello. Even though he's got the bottom leg scooped, is he going to be able to improve that position? Is the official and well, it's a good sign there for Tomasello. He was able to get to the leg. Nathan Tomasello trying to become just the third three-time Big Ten champion in Ohio State history. Logan Steber, of course, the most recent that gathered that many, and he got four. Set. Last year, Tomasello beat Penn State's Nico Megalutis in the Big Ten finals. Megalutis would go on to win an NCAA title two weeks later. Yeah, you see Tomasello drifting to his right. He likes to attack that left leg with the Iowa on the singlet there. That's what he likes to go to, and he's able to go ahead so far this match, attack both sides. He may have to come back to that single leg shot, that sweep single that he goes to the left, and then come back to his high crotch and get a little bit better finish going. Clark will take territory and is looking to tie you up and work that two-on-one. That's the position he likes right there, two-on-one. drag attempt there by Thomas Ellie's pretty good getting an angle nice job by Clark squaring up continuous action there Angel Rivera is going to go ahead and call no points but for a short period of time there might have been around behind but Clark did a nice job of squaring up both guys are reacting well Clark, a three-time All-American you mentioned the last two years in the finals a finalist but the NCAA championship elusive yet. Well, this has been a good period for Corey Clark. You know, you can see that the heavily bandaged uh, uh, brace there that he has on his left shoulder. He's missed some time. And here's your finishers at 125. Besides this, the match we just saw, Lezak, Petrowski, Yudzi, Oliver, and Rodriguez. Top seven are automatic qualifiers. Ben Thornton would have to get an at-large appointment. So the top seven are automatic at 125. They're all going to be in St. Louis in two weeks. Important position here for Clark to get out quickly. He's got some skills in the top position, and Tomasello is not going to give up in a 0-0 match. He's not going to give up anything. He's going to make Clark earn every second. 
they wait for the whistle. Gentlemen. From that bottom position. When you look at Thomas L, that had to be quite a cut down to 125. He saw that the reason they haven't met is because Thomas L was at that 133 for the first time in his career. Getting out in 15 seconds. Now he comes back to the single leg. Now he's able to pop up out of the bottom. He's able to go ahead and come around the waist. Clarkson to go ahead and try to work an ankle pass. They stop the match. Here we go. We got swing of the head. See what's going on. You heard the referee, Angel Rivera, talk about maybe perhaps pulling of the headgear. Uh, Clark's headgear came off. And then also now you've got Tomasello's uh, blood. And Angel Rivera, the head official, went over to his assistant, Mike McCormick, and asked if he saw it. He said, I did not see that. And so it was questionable. Gonna get a quick look at the uh, replay. Nice job, but he, it was a kick. It came around the, the waist. And that bought a little bit of time. So, yeah, you see that uh, he might have had the chin strap there and pulled on it pretty hard. And they're still operating off the one-point escape that uh, Corey Clark was able to get. Again, you're going to see a lot of battling with these guys. Also, a lot of footwork. Last year, Corey Clark went into overtime to beat Zane Richards from Illinois in the finals here at 133. Clark in on a single leg. He's able to go ahead. Just, he's, he's just got the heel right now. He's trying to shelf it on his left leg, and each time he tries to bring that up, Tomasello scoots a little bit further out of bounds. Now he's got a, a good, solid wizard, and that's good work by Tomasello. Basically doing enough, you're creating enough activity on the edge of the mat and really taking the action off the mat for no takedown. So they went off the mat. There was no takedown. They're back to their feet. 40 seconds left in the second period with Clark leading 1-0 on the strength of that escape. That was a good, solid shot. He really caught uh, and now another shot measured pretty well by Tomasello. <laughs> Kind of almost even on shots here between these two. Two pretty good shots by, by Clark and two or three by Tomasello. No stalling calls. Everything's even that way. It's 1-0 as time kicks off the clock in the second period. Well, nobody's really taking a backward step. There's a shot there by Tomasello. You see him at his best. He's working in and out. Go to the third period. So, Tomasello will choose down. He'll get his opportunity to score one or two points. Clark will have an opportunity to ride, and he can ride. Let's go, right? yeah, and what he's going to try to do is, is put as much pressure as he can on the, and stop the first move Top. of Tomasello. Tomasello will come up strong. Comes up, grabs the ankle. One, Going to get that two, count. Three. He's moving up. One. Good job by Clark there trailing. So you see where he he, uh, he dropped in on the ankle right off of the whistle. And as quick as that count was, you're not going to be able to live on that. Set. Good job by Tomasello, creating a little hip separation. He's covering both sets of fingers, creating a little hip separation. He's going to try to make the big turn. Not able to do it. Clark really can't drop back in on him. He's going to try to help. Help him off the mat if he can. A good mat return. No, he went off the mat. Off the mat, and Thomas Ellis still down. Clark on top. And I think a lot of the Ohio State faithful, which there are a lot here, yeah, didn't really think that they got all the way off the mat. That was right in front of us. And the difficulty there is that, that you've got a lot of our, our media right in that area. They're trying to get photo shots of it, so it's... Uh, Nice job by Thomas L. He does get the escape. And a stall warning. Excuse yeah, me. And then he got that yeah. drop down. And like you said, that's quick count by Angel Rivera. Yeah, you can't. He's not going to allow him to go ahead and live on the ankle. So there's no escape. So a warning for stalling now on Clark. Yeah, and, and probably a little less likely. Oh, he's going to call it locked hands. Stop. 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 One red. 
Leg illegal move. I'm not. He's not giving the locked hand signal. No, it's an illegal yeah. technical violation. Did he cut back? Yeah, he must have got called the cut back there. I'm not, we haven't really got a very good explanation of what the... Uh, what Angel just said was you hit an illegal move and you had a stall call. Yeah. Set on top. And it's a one escape for Tomasello. It's one. It's a two to one now. That technical violation gave Tomasello one. And he's in on the shot. But he's given up the position there. Now he's back on the single leg. Cracking him down. Yep. He's got him cracked down here. Clark doing a good job of fighting that off. But he's got to be thinking about scoring, not necessarily just getting neutral. A lot of time working off the clock. We got nothing. We got no control. And this is the size that you see of Corey Clark. He's good in this position with that head and arm. Tomasello keeping him at bay right there. He's going to look to collect the far ankle. He's got it. Two points with 35 seconds left in the third period. And how good was that? We talk about scoring and keeping scoring, and that's exactly what Tomasello did there. Going to give the escape to Clark. He's the one that was the aggressor. He was the one with the lead. And with 40 seconds left, he went after the shot. Good aggressive wrestling by Tomasello there. He, he's had several shots, and he, that shot he scored on. Wow. What the a escape by Clark gives him one. It's 4-2, to two, a takedown. Would tie the match, and he gets the two. What a match. 14 seconds left. Can Tomasello get out, or is Clark going to ride him, and will go to overtime? Tomasello, one more crack at it here to try to get out of that spiral ride, the crab ride. Can he get enough hip separation? Yeah, he did. He got it. Uh, it's going to be, there, there's going to be a question on time. I was looking at the clock, and so was referee, assistant referee McCormick. They're going one, one second left. I think he got it, Tim. So, the escape. Yeah. Great, great competitors, Clark wow. and Tomasello. And Tomasello got a great hip heist there. And great, was able to get created enough hip separation. Clark's grip got a little bit high. Look at the hip separation now. Creates enough hip separation. Clark's yeah. grip gets a little bit high. Three, two, one. Makes the turn and gets it. Yep. That's one. And it is a correct call by Angel Rivera. Wow. Nathan Tomasello. Love to see his third.